So one morning over Christmas break, my brother and I were up talking and he was saying that me and my friends couldn't hit headshots on hostage targets and that that wasn't a practical self-defense skill and nobody would use that. And I was like, me? I understand my friends, but me? What are, you, what are you talking all that shit about me for? So you know what? That got me thinking. I got a USPSA challenge for you, Joel. All right. If you can hit one headshot on each, off the draw, in under six seconds, I'll put $200 towards any gun or accessory, or I'll just pay you the money off the rip. See you about that. What is up, guys? All jokes aside, today's video is hostage targets and training for them. You know, what are their uses and what do you use them for? So today we're gonna to be shooting a lot of hostage targets with not a lot of the primary target exposed. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a wonderful day. So the first drill I'm doing today, it's about, I'd say, not even four yards, maybe maybe five or about four or five yards from the targets. And we're gonna do the drill that I was calling my uh, little brother out in the first part of the video. We're gonna do that drill. So off the draw, one shot on each target, preferably the credit card A zone on the top, and then reholster. So we are shooting for under six seconds on this drill. So why are we doing this? Let's get into that a little bit. I think it's a very useful skill for USPSA competition personally. Do I think it's very applicable to defensive shooting and concealed carry shooting? Honestly, just from the little research I've done and more so the information given to me by people who have done that research or worked in that field, I don't really believe it's that applicable to that. However, in USPSA competition shooting and IPSA or IPSIC, like, like IDPA, you see a lot of these targets, you see a lot of hostage targets, and on one of my first USPSA, or at my US, first USPSA competition, I really struggled with the hostage targets. I got a lot of negative or um, cuts for shooting on those targets. So when you shoot on those targets, for those of you who don't know, it is minus 10 points from your score, every shot you put on the white target. As you can see on these targets we're using today, they are, a couple of them have been used, but most if not all the bullet holes are coming out, so it should be pretty easy to mark when I mess up on the target. So let's get the first string going. This is a cold start. I haven't shot around today. I actually haven't shot since, these are my first shots in the New Year's. Yes, the last time I shot was December 30th and today is January 13th, so yay work. Yeah, let's get this drill going and we'll see. Just off the draw, cold start, I've only done dry firing and even then this will probably show you not enough. Okay, first shots. Okay, what you guys just saw right there, first shots of the New Year's. I just recently cleaned this gun, so there was a lot of uh, kickback off of the CLP I used. As you can see here, so it says, whoops. So you can see, if you can, I hope you can. Let's try to maybe put the focus in the middle of the camera. 377, so kind of easy. I'm getting a little nervous. Maybe, maybe six seconds was a little, was a little easy for my little brother there. Maybe we'll have to push the range back or something. But at least for me, I'm a more experienced shooter than he is, 377. So as you can see here, I'll kind of show it to you guys um, on the target. We got one right here, shot him in the, whoops. The whole land is flooded, it's been storming, that's why I haven't been shooting, I just got my foot soaked. We got one right here in the neck, so that would be in competition, because that's kind of how we're gonna talk for a bit, a C zone. This target, which was the hardest one, I actually had to adjust it because it was so difficult uh, earlier. Hold on, we got a nail sticking out. We got A zone credit card, I think a little lucky. I kind of definitely took my time transitioning into this one a bit. And then finally, on this one, and all this because of the wind, all these staples are sticking out, so I'm gonna try to do some maintenance real quick. 
We got another C zone, a little lower the quite a card, kind of close. I say. So we'll run through this a few more times. I think this is a good drill. It's kind of modified off of the two two and two drill. Okay, so didn't beat it. Show you guys here. Three eight nine. All right, terrible run, I can already tell you. So, looking at here, 4.59, I was getting a little cocky with my shots. 4.59, and I couldn't find the dot on the draw. So, I was really slow on this first shot, and this is kind of something to talk about here on this first alpha credit card shot. And then, moving over to this guy right here, I put a hole right in the hostage, so minus 10 points. I tried to make up speed coming across because it took me so long. And then this one is a hair, hair over the hostage. Um, I know it's hard for you guys to see me, but right here. So, so something after shooting this, I'm kind of learning about hostage targets, is you can't go as fast as a 2-2-2 two, two, and two drill. Even though you're shooting one less shot, each shot is a very particular shot where you have to hone in on the fundamentals. And I think that's why drills like this are so great. This one's a 3-9-1. So this one, 3-8-9. I can't really crack that three second. So my best one, this might be my best one all day. So I'll show you three, four, six. Three, four, two again, jeez. Three point seven three. I think one more drill, one more. Okay, so we'll do the last one. This one's for sure going to be in the video. Last one here on this, and then we'll kind of move to the next drill. Three four four. So not not definitely not beating my best okay so as you can see for this next drill we got the three targets reoriented now so this is approximately five yards 10 yards 15 and that's a lot of beer math it's a lot of me doing like this is this one i think i want to shoot under six seconds i'm going to take my time i want hits on this in competition this is my re weakest area i think the headshot that i missed on my first competition was about that far maybe 20 instead of 15 from me so Honestly, really looking to improve. This is where I want to up my game for USPSA. So looking for sub five seconds. So I went a little fast. 437. Let's go check it out. What's nice about this new audio vice device is that y'all come with me. So on this one was a no-brainer. Charlie right in the neck. This one, Charlie, about maybe an inch under the Alpha Zone credit card. That's what I keep calling the credit card. This one, I held my dot a little high and my hold on this gun is a little high is at the very top so i got it i know you can't see me but at the very top of the target so i can go faster because i hit the target on every single one however i would like to shoot a little more accurately so i might try to slow it down a bit and definitely need to play with my hold on this one and just understand which is nice because in a video you'll see before this one if my uploading schedule goes to plan 
I am doing a shooting competition and this is extremely good prep for it. And I'll talk about that in a separate video, which will most likely always already be uploaded. Six point five. So, so this drill, a little more Hollywood, a little more fun, a little more tactical. We got evil mob boss or whatever have you, even villain, evil villain, henchman, or underling, and then my love interest, Mrs. Cardboard over there. I love her so dearly. That is my wife, my rock, my muse, and she's been unfortunately, however, taken captive by the evil mob boss and henchman number two. So this drill, we're gonna do two shots on each. Or er, eh, it's kind of however you'd approach it tactically. I think, I assume, I picture this man in a suit. I kind of have him at a lower level, so he's sitting at the table and we're trying to negotiate. And I'm like, I don't play by the rules. And I <laughs> so I think, honestly, closest threat is my thinking. One shot on this dude, headshot. And then maybe two into this guy, because at this point he'll be raising his, you know, AK or Uzi or whatever the heck, uh, whatever the fuck he's got. Got it. All right, let's do this. Ugh. That was fun. 3.59. So these shots are easier, obviously, because they're closer. Let me make sure I'm not showing you guys any crack. Dead in the A zone. Mrs. Cardboard, you are safe, C zone. These are getting, this is looking like a cheese grater, by the way. Some shredded cheese. And then this guy right here, top C zone. All right, easier than I thought, just gotta be careful. So let's try, let's try two shots. Two shots on each. That was pretty fun. That was pretty sweet. Two shots, 3.6, so that hit factor goes crazy. It's, look at her running away. But that hit factor does go wild. So let's see, let's see. Two alpha, right here. Alpha, alpha. And these alpha zones are harder to hit, just FYI. Just to boost my ego a tad bit more, or hold on. Did I hit you? See, this makes the grading tough. Nope, I didn't hit her. She's good. You're okay. Let's do this. One here, one here. Oh my God, I thought I mic'd. Thought I mic'd Alpha Charlie. So, hit factor I'm sure is great. However, that was just a lot of fun. That Let's roll it. So that would be 38 points. Let's do the math. For shits and gigs, competition, I show up. Mid-tier Glock, mid-tier shooting ability. It's the best I can do. So it would be, yeah, 28 divided by 4.06. 6.89, yeah. Basically a GM now, shooting, you know. 6.89 hit factor, yeah, you know, I'm professional, do this for a living, fastest gun on the east coast, actually, in the world, actually, all right, Ugh. last time, let's get it, and then I, then I gotta really train for this competition coming up, can't be doing this goofy stuff. Perfect. Six shots, six kills. For the conclusion piece, I have Mrs. Cardboard, my wife here. So you can see today, I'm um, very sad. 
She's not in the blood, so that's just a tear. I've shot her five times, not great. And then obviously, a while ago, uh, was training with her, so I'm really not the best. You know what, actually, you, you deserve a better man. Just go, go on, go off into the wind. Yeah, there she goes, flying away. But, okay, so concluding thoughts. Drills like this are fun. I think they're really good for speed, but honestly, when it comes to headshots, are you ever gonna be taking a headshot on a person holding a family member hostage? Probably not, that's probably just for Hollywood. And between you and I, Hollywood don't. They don't use real bullets, those aren't real shots. Uh, very rarely, like unless you're SEAL Team 6 or something, do I think a, uh, you know, average American citizen or wherever you are citizen are gonna be taking these type of shots. It is a really good skill though, however, despite it not being super practical, because it holds you to an extremely high standard of accuracy, and if you shoot US PSA or UPSA, whatever, however you say it, they have a lot of these targets, so it's good practice. And when you see these targets, you see an area you can't shoot, it stimulates a lot of stress. You get nervous, you get worried, because all of a sudden there's this you know, new foreign factor to the you know, shooting drill that you're doing in the moment. So I think it's really good. It adds an extra layer of pressure to practice or competition. So in competition, shooting these targets A, aren't as hard, that's how practicing works. B, you kind of understand where your hold on your red dot or your iron sights are for your weapon system, which is just, you know, another part of the long process of getting to know your weapon system and making it one with you, which is, sounds super hippie. And C, it kind of, you know, stimulates stressful situations. And therefore, when you're, you know, at the supermarket and in the awful event where you do get into a citizen-involved shooting with a person with no hostage right in front of you right there, it's not that big of an issue. So. Honestly, get out there, train like this. I wanna make more range videos. I love being out here. This is why I'm into guns. I'm not into, you know, here for the reviews. Have a wonderful day. Comment if you've done these drills or if you have any thoughts on drills like these in the video. Peace.